It is 922. Once again, here's Matt. Katie, as we've been telling you, investigators have started to track down the thousands of leads across the country already pouring in. In the last couple of days, they've searched a number of homes and businesses in Florida. NBC's Kerry Sanders is in Miami with more on that. Kerry? Well, the FBI, and I'm outside their headquarters right now, are focusing on five Florida men, all with Middle Eastern sounding names, all, it's believed, who died in the hijackings. 33 year old Mohammed Atta, believed to be one of the suicide pilots, trained to fly right here in the United States, attending this flight school in Venice, Florida, with his younger cousin, Marwan Al Shahi, both in school here for seven months last year, flying this twin engine Seneca for their commercial pilot's licenses. NBC News has learned they each received FAA commercial pilot's licenses December 21st last year. The designated pilot examiner who tested a Todd his cousin, saying neither stands out in his memory. They're, they were just average people. If, if there had been anything in particular, I'm sure I would have remembered it. But they were just uh, uh, two more pilots that went through. Flight school owner Rudy Decker saying 60% of his students are foreigners. Like everybody else, uh, I'm absolutely shocked. Ali Azan from Oman, a fellow student pilot, remembers Atta saying he was from Egypt, his cousin from the United Arab Emirates, both men keeping to themselves. I tried to invite them a lot of times to come out with us, and that did not. FBI agents in Vero Beach, Florida, serving search warrants on a location where other suspected suicide pilots may have once lived. In Hollywood, Florida overnight, investigators using infrared and ultraviolet lights to find fingerprints and other clues at a house where it's believed Atta rented a room. A similar scene in Hamburg, Germany, where both Atta and his cousin once had an apartment. Police there sealing the neighborhood, then taking a woman into custody for questioning. But where do all the clues lead investigators? Like this car rented by Al Shahi, now at FBI headquarters in Miami. Agents found an address in the glove box that took them to a post office box at a mailboxes, et cetera, 40 miles away. That box in yet another man's name. And the authorities now wanting to know who that man is, trying to locate him, to talk to him. The investigators not only want to find the evidence that they're, they're boxing up, but what that evidence will lead them to in some sort of, where was the finances coming for all of this? Where was the money coming from? One of the records that they found that we, we also have a copy of is a car rental agreement that uh, uh, Muhammad Atta was uh, able to do uh, just last month, and he used a visa card. So the authorities right over here, the FBI, have that information. They're looking at it, and they're trying to find out where the money was coming from, and does it point back to anybody in particular, Osama bin Laden, or where, where was the money coming from? Matt?